Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit for the 2013 Plus Ford Focus ST. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive Focus ST content. If you're looking for full protection for your Ford Focus ST, also check out the Mishimoto Direct Fit Baffled Oil Catch Can. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include T30 Torx bit, 5 16 10 millimeter and half inch sockets, short quarter drive extension, quarter drive ratchet, 27 millimeter deep socket, 8 millimeter ratchet wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, one inch wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and a torque wrench. You should also have an extra quart of oil ready for the install. Install time is about two hours, and install difficulty is a three out of five. First, using a flathead screwdriver, remove the four pop clips on the top of the bumper cover located in the engine bay. Remove the hood release cable using a flathead screwdriver. Now, raise your Focus ST up. Now, in the fender well, remove the hardware and repeat this on the opposite side. There is a total of four T30 Torx and two pop clips. Remove the six pop clips under the front bumper using a flathead screwdriver. Now, remove the lower air diverter. There are three T30 Torx holding it in place. Now, remove the eight T30 Torx holding the plastic under panel in place. Now, remove the final plastic under panel. There are four T30 Torx holding this panel in place. Unclip the bumper on both sides, but don't fully remove it yet. Now, remove both headlights. There are a total of four T30 Torx holding them in place. Remove the two remaining T30 Torx bolts on the bumper. Now, Slide the headlight forward and disconnect the electrical connector holding each headlight in place. Now we're ready to remove the bumper. There are two tabs under the headlight that the bumper clips into. Pull up on the tabs to release the bumper. Now remove the bumper by lifting it up and forward. Make sure you disconnect the electrical connector for the fog lights before fully removing the bumper. 
Remove the upper air shroud by releasing the two clips. Now, remove the lower air shroud. There are two T30 Torx holding the shroud in place. Disconnect the electrical connector for the active grill shutters. Make sure to also remove the two tree clips. Squeeze the four tabs to remove the bumper guard. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the hot side intercooler coupler. Next, repeat the process on the cold side coupler. Unplug the MAP sensor. Next, remove the two 8mm bolts that hold the intercooler in place. Remove the intercooler by pulling it forward and then lowering it from the car. Then, release the four tabs and remove the active grille shutters. This install requires the active grille shutters to be completely removed. You will not be reinstalling them. Reinstall the inner cooler using the two 8mm bolts you removed earlier. Next, reconnect the MAP sensor. Next, reinstall the cold side boot using a flathead screwdriver. Then, reinstall the hot side coupler using a flathead screwdriver as well. Install the upper mounting bracket onto the oil cooler using the Mishimoto provided four 10 millimeter nuts and bolts. Carefully tap the radiator support with the Mishimoto provided 5 16 inch self-tapping screws. Be sure the screws are as straight as possible with the hole while tapping the radiator support. Now install the oil cooler using the Mishimoto provided 5 16 hex bolt and T20 Torx bolt. Then install the lower bracket with the Mishimoto provided 3 10 mm nuts and bolts. One is attached to the car while the other two are attached to the oil cooler. Now go ahead and remove your oil filter. Assemble the two straight fittings on the Mishimoto sandwich plate using a 1 inch wrench. Make sure to lube the o-ring on the sandwich plate with oil. Install the Mishimoto sandwich plate with the stainless steel center bolt. Make sure to note the orientation. Now, route the Mishimoto oil cooler lines. Route the longest line back and around towards the driver's side, right above the intercooler. Install this hose on the oil cooler's fitting on the passenger side. Make sure to only hand tighten. Go ahead and route the second line just like the first. Install it onto the other oil cooler fitting, but only hand tighten it. 
Now, on the sandwich plate side, install the straight fitting to the fitting furthest from the radiator on the sandwich plate. Install the final fitting. You may need to rotate the fitting on the line until it lines up properly. Tighten all your connections using a 1 inch wrench. Now tighten the center bolt using a 27 millimeter socket. Torque the center bolt to 30 foot pounds. Install the Mishimoto provided heat shield onto your oil cooler lines to protect them from the lower coolant hose. Tighten the fittings at the oil cooler using a 1 inch wrench. Reinstall the oil filter, but make sure you've lubed the o-ring before installing it. You will need to add about 3 quarters of a quart of oil in addition to the oil that was lost when the filter was removed. Prior to reinstalling any under panels, start your Focus ST, let it warm up, and check for any leaks. Reinstall the bumper guard. It should click into place as shown here. Reinstall the top shroud. This should click into place as well. Reinstall the lower shroud using the two T30 torques you removed earlier. Reconnect your fog lights and reinstall the bumper cover. Make sure to clip only the front part of the bumper. Reinstall your headlights, but first reconnect the headlight connector on each side. There are two T30 Torx holding each headlight in place. Now, clip on both sides of the bumper. Reinstall the upper bumper two T30 Torx bolts you removed earlier. Then, reinstall the four upper bumper pop clips. Go ahead and reinstall the hood release cable. Now, reinstall the hardware for the fender wells on both sides. There should be a total of four T30 Torx and two pop clips. Then, Reinstall the under tray panel using the four T30 Torx and six pot clips you removed earlier. Then, Reinstall the second under panel using the 8 T30 Torx you removed earlier. Finally, reinstall the lower air diverter using the 3 T30 Torx you removed earlier. Now that you've installed your Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight and take your Focus ST for a test drive. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.